Like the distant sound of a Harley's V-twin rumble barreling toward us, the excitement was building. Christmas was almost here. Each minute it edged near was more exhilarating than the last because Christmas was one moment closer. Magnificent, wonderful, Merry Christmas. It was a good year. I recall fondly the first time I laid my eyes on it. Full four-color, high-resolution images plastered on a full-page back cover ad in Car Life. Behind him was the glistening lines of the most beautiful, the most monumental, masterfully designed piece of machinery I had ever laid my eye on. Yes, folks, this 7-liter, 428-cubic-inch rocket can be your very own. It has an official Shelby Dash signature, so everyone on the show field knows you're legit. You just put your hands on the wheel, fire up that ignition, and feel the badass flow through you. Tell your husband or wife it's great for getting ice cream and Sunday drives, as well as winning races, and it will make a swell Christmas gift. A swell Christmas gift. A swell Christmas gift? Here was Carol Shelby himself getting me, his buddy Davin, with his aforethought twisted downplay. He knows damn well that it was not just a swell Christmas gift, but THE Christmas gift. The classic gift. The MacGuffin of Christmas gifts. The Great White Whale. For the first time in my life, I was lost in delusional, meandering daydreams. Davin? Davin! Steven, I found this under my pillow on Thursday, and then this morning I found it in my purse. Oh, well, there it is. Petrified, I heard myself exclaim. I bet you never guess what I want for Christmas. No going back now. A front-engine rear-wheel drive, 2 plus 2, 1967 Ford Mustang GT500 with a water-cooled 428 cubic inch V8. Not a chance. Before I got to front-engine, I knew it. No, you'll put it sideways. It was the classic, classic car purchase block. That joyless phrase, uttered countless times against high-performance gearhead purchases. How could I play my hand so frivolously? But such was my desire for a GT500 that I immediately began rebuilding the project. <laughs> joking. Even though Nick's getting one, I guess we probably need a new water heater. I couldn't believe my own ears. A water heater? She'd never buy it. I just think those things are dangerous. You don't need to be getting into any accidents. The lift was failing and I was under the car. The crushing weight of disappointment. My plan needed retooling. Then it dawned on me and I saw a faint flicker of light at the end of the dark tunnel of despair. My son. Already the narrative was unfolding in my head. And that's why daddy should get a 1967 Shelby GT500 with the V8 in it with a nice back seat for you. Hey dad, aren't you worried about going sideways? She got to him. My own son. My gray matter was beginning to twist under the extreme torque of my own thoughts. Then it dawned on me like the early morning sun. My wife's brother, Nick. He would understand my plight. He could convince her. So when are you getting one of these? It was my chance, but my brain backfired. Yeah. Desperately, I searched for the words. My mind seized. <laughs> you should ask Santa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Santa? I was blowing it. No, no, you need to have your sister give me a 1967 Shelby GT500 428 cubic inch 7 liter V8 with Shelby's signature. <laughs> You're just going to put it sideways. Merry Christmas! Ooh! Fudge. There was no doubt that I had made out like a bandit with my new welding gloves and car tie and the fudge. The joy of the holidays can uplift the saddest of hearts. But then it came out of nowhere, like a deer in the night. I must admit I was completely stunned. I think there's something in there. Hmm? Do you see that? What? Why don't you go check it out? Keys? To a 1967 Shelby GT500! Okay, now wear your seatbelt. Oh, I still say those things are dangerous. Lime green with artfully precise lines, its deep, polished finish glistened like the finest freshly dipped chrome. 
And there, inked into the glove box, his penned words unmistakable, his script clear and clean, was Carol Shelby's own autograph. I could hardly contain myself. I sat in the seat, admired my remarkable machine, ready to fire up the engine and begin my grand inaugural journey. For a moment, I thought wildly, I will give it everything. I will send this rocket to the moon. Right, let's see if she goes. Oh, holy! Wow! I knew immediately that I hadn't put it sideways, but it was more power than I expected. It was the greatest Christmas gift of all time! Next to me in the blackness of my garage slept my slick beauty, the greatest Christmas gift I had ever received. Gradually, I fell to sleep fantasizing of my spectacularly fast track times and summer drives with my family.